In this tutorial, I'll show you how to customize a shader for this Quick Selmega Scans model. We'll go through the process of setting up all the available maps and material options to achieve the best possible result. If you've been wanting to learn how to fine-tune material on Megascans models, this tutorial is just for you. We will work with this model from Quixel Megascans. When you download your model, you'll see this in your folder. Here is preview. I'm going to work with this variant. You can find it in variant 2. Here you can see a lot of different files, but you'll need only load 0. So all you need to do is drag it to your 3ds Max and import it. So drag and select import file. After that, I customize size of my frame. So here you can select custom and set the size. Activate in the viewport frame with shift F and set up camera. After that, you can start working on your model material. But first, you'll need to set up lighting for your scene. In this scene, you can upload HDR map. I select some interior HDR map. You can select similar and customize it. Next, customize base color. I create Corona Physical MTL and set up gray color. We can start interactive render. Here in the tone mapping, I increase exposure, add filmic, highlight compress and rich shadow, and advanced filmic for contrast, just a little bit. If you're going to use another HDR map, probably you will need some other settings. Now we can start work on material. Here in the folder, you can see textures and you'll need atlas. Here you can see all the maps that we're going to use for this material. I'll start with opacity. Opacity map needed to add some details to your shape. Everything that black in this texture will disappear in the render and you will get some details. I'm going to connect it to opacity color. And you can see straight away we got some details here. Next map is diffuse color. Here the name is Albedo. I'm going to drag it to the field. I'll connect it to the base color. The map looks good, so I'm not going to change anything here. Next one, translucency. We need translucency, so the light will be able to go through the leaves and you will get more natural view of your plant. I'll connect it to translucency color. We need to customize some parameters here, so I'll select material and increase translucency fraction. Zero 4 looks good, but I want to change color a little bit, so right click, change material map type, in general select color correction, and keep old. Now select color correction map, I'll add more yellow color, and change gamma a little bit, so advanced, I'll make it lighter, 1.1. Now I do like it. Next I'll work with reflection and I'll add roughness map to the field. Connect it to the base roughness. In general it looks good, but I would reduce a little bit intensity of this map. So I'll select material, go to the maps and set here 90. Now it's softer and nicer. Next, normal map. I'll drag it to the field, connect to maps, corona, corona normal to normal, add gamma to input, don't forget about it, and I'll connect to the bump. I'll lower strength, 0, 7. Next, displacement. I'll connect it to displace. Here you should be careful and do not add too strong amounts, otherwise your stems can be very thick, which you don't really need. So I'll go to material, I'll increase 6 in max level. You can see that they become bigger and minus 1 in mean level. Now they look more normal. Good. And the last map that we have in our folder is Elo map. We also can use it to add some details to our material. So I'll drag it to the field. I'll use it on diffuse color. So we need to change here a little bit. So I'll click on the line of diffuse map, right click, change material map type. I will add here composite map, keep old. And now our Elo map, I can connect straight away to layer one mask. Intensity is super strong of this mask, so I'm going to work a little bit with curves to make it more accurate or less visible, but still to get some details from this map. You can see all this line we got from this map, which is really cool, but 
super intensive no need that much so i'll select this map enable color map in curves at the point right click bzs move move tool and customize curve i'll lift it up a little more and i think it would be enough now we got more strong details looks very soft very natural and that's how you can customize plant material on quixel megascans model